This is a very, very, very special episode. All right, it might look like keeping up, because we're at the house, but we decided this is not gonna be a keeping up episode. It's gonna be an episode all about rock art. The granite specialist. Come and have a look, Eve. James is here today and we're templating for our outdoor kitchen tops. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna watch it being templated today, because I've never seen the manufacturing process of natural stone. And it's very intriguing to be watched. And it's a luxury, it's a luxury product, and the way James does it, it's all by touch and feel. So he's not using level lasers and whatever else. He comes here and he cuts, what's his Corex? Corex, yeah. And he's cutting Corex to the shape of the kitchen. He'll mark exactly where all the cutouts have got to be, i.e. your sinks and your hobs and whatever else. And he'll take it back to his warehouse and then manufacture it. So we've got the privilege of next week going to James's place and we're going to watch him and his lad making our top. And then the following week, we're going to be back here I'm going to spend a day with them installing the tops. So you get to see it from the templating process all the way to the manufacturing process, all the way to the installation process. And that's why it's a special episode. Because you get to see the whole thing along with us traveling. How long have we got to travel? You. Three hours and four. You come three hours yeah, three and what? Hours, yeah. three, three and a half, half hours, hours to hours. get here to template. <laughs> and we're going to return the favor next week. And we're going to travel three and a half hours. And then he's going to return the favor back and then travel back down and install it. <laughs> Heavy though, isn't it, as well? Very heavy, yeah. I think it's about 600 kilo a slab, so you're gonna have... Two slabs? Maybe 12, and yeah, turn in, turn in a bit. Like a Ford Fiesta car? Yeah. Times two? I lift that, it's crazy when you think of it. It's a lot, isn't it, when you think yeah. that, because a Ford Fiesta car weighs about five, 600 kg for a small Fiesta car. So you imagine two cars sitting on top of that. That's why the sub base has got to be strong, isn't it? So you're gonna watch it, you're gonna watch all this being done. This is about 700 here, isn't it? This is deeper this side, and that's about 600 odd, isn't it? They're about? 630, 700. So we're gonna go 20 mil past. to give you a nice overhang on okay. that. So you're gonna go 720 on this side. Yeah. 650, 650, 625 there. Um, but yeah, we'll go. I'm with you. That'll give 20 mil all the way around. Really. See that, if that's an undermount sink, all the sinks we've got in here are undermount sinks. They get stuck to the underside of the top. And typically what they do is they finish the top on the edge of that but then you get to see the mastic as you look through it on the side so what james said is look we'll come in 10 mil and keep the strength for the top we're gonna we're gonna come around here and then curve it on the corner here mm -hmm. you have to rub all that out but curve it on the corner here in it like that that's it yeah a little 25 15 mil radius in there and then our top sits under our, our sink sits on the side and we stick that on using ct1 let it go off for like 24 hours and that will be solid. So you can stick our bottles of Prosecchio in there. Let me rub that off for you, because it's going to ruin your marks now, isn't it? All right, I'll go over it. Is that what you do? You don't yeah, do pencil yeah. just no, in case it just, rubs off? Yeah, we use permanent <laughs> marker, and you don't use blue marker. Why? A very expensive lesson with that, because if your template touches the stone, oh, blue marker bleeds. for some reason bleeds onto it. I don't know why. You can get it off, but it's a nightmare. I'm looking, forward to it. I can't cool. I'm looking forward to going down there watching the whole manufacturing process because it is a luxury item and it costs a lot of money to install and you're only supposed to do it once in your bit of gaff, isn't you really? You have a kitchen done, you do That's it properly right, and yeah. nice. Anyone on the market looking for some natural stone, quartz, marble, granite, everything like yeah, that, yeah. isn't it? Any, any quartz, marble, granite. Um, it's typically not marble for kitchen, it's a bit too soft, but yeah. quartz and granite yeah. is, is the way forward of it all, really. I'll let you know my recommendation on installation day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it goes to plan. Just don't go to the gym on that day, too, so in case you need a lift. No, no, that's Sam's job. So basically we use the Corex, and it's got five more gaps on it, so each line is a five more gap. And when I template, what I like to do is, we always put the cut edge to the back, because it's a little bit rough when we go over it. But I'll sit my, in fact, I'll show you on that one how easy it is to do your straight lines and then you can get your cut off it, you see. So if I want to go 300, because that's what we're putting on the top of here. So I'll mark 300. And then if I sit my lead in there, I get a nice straight line like that all the way down 
then you go over it again, like I have done with this one, cut into the Corex ever so slightly. And when you get your knife, it pulls straight through. At 300. That is you get a nice straight cut. Work smart, not harder. Exactly. So obviously yeah. this is yeah. three four, I think it is three yeah. three. Three three like is, yeah. So yeah, it's um I can't get that in one piece, so we'll have to have a slight joint somewhere. We have a joint this end. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go here. Oh, I reckon I'm this end. to go here or just dead centre. Mm. That matter on your stone, does that all depend on your stone? It's eighteen hundred that way, which is the way I'm getting it out, so all of the windows are folding back here. So yeah. they're gonna stack out. So if I go here. That's going to be the area that you're yeah. standing, you're drinking, you're enjoying. So I think if we, if three you had the three, what do you do? Three hundred, uh, like three meter slab. Yeah. Whatever two it is. Nine, two nine. So have that, have that off three, right here. Four hundred off it. I reckon have it this end. Okay. So I've written on march it there and rip plus twenty mil. So I was going to just put a bit of stone in there. Yeah. So it finishes. Finishes it up against that cladding. Yeah. That'd be nice. And then I'll paint that bit there black to match the outside and that snoop ball black. Yeah. And stone all wrap around. Some, right around. Beautiful, lovely. That's a nice size top, isn't it? Where does 85. Where's that? He's got a tape measure. He's, he's nicked my uh, tape measure. It's over there. Hey, he's passed that tape measure up, please. So that's my window profile. So then, yeah, there's your bar. Crispy. Yep. Is that where the stone comes from? Highland. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Send over your address. And now, how long is it? Three hours. Three hours, ten minutes. So three hours. So, so we'd so be there for you. For... That would be four and a half hours. I take my time when I drive. You got a problem? Yes. You hear that? Master GG with a stone. Yeah. That gives us another Master GG. Today, I'm Master GG of insulation. He's Master GG with stone. I'm Master GG. <laughs> <laughs> see you Thursday, brother. You. Appreciate you, guys. See you later, Joe. Bye, mate. mate. Safe right. journey. We are on our way to Rock Art Granite. Oh. You've just seen him template him. So now we are off there to actually go and see it being made. Manufacturing. Manufacturing in his warehouse. Well, you know. I can't wait. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. And we're excited. And, and I've got a bacon cheese stone over. Like you have. And so is Ted. So Ted's really excited oh, now. Really? Yeah, and I always have got a chocolate bar. And you're in your socks. It's absolutely bad. That's where I'm, that's crooks off. And new haircut. Off. You're a fresh man today, bro. Yeah. We are here. We are with... Rocker. But we found out that the boss lady's here today, so we're on best behaviour. Every good man with a decent business, or inspiring decent business, has a good woman behind them, hold them tight. That's me speaking from experience, because if my woman holds me tight, James has got his old woman here. She's here to keep an eye on things. I feel so blessed to be putting that in my outdoor kitchen. It's the think as well, you know, there's, there's what? Five slabs left, so there's only ever gonna be another three, maybe two houses in the UK with that. That's mad. Never gonna get it again. That's crazy. You think an outdoor kitchen, Eve, when you've got the white render, the stainless steel sinks and everything like that, a bit of nice whitey beigey floor, that's gonna bang, bro, on the black building. The first thing you're gonna see is that. Is that my seal? That's your, that's your that's two. That's the seal, is it? That's your bars, yeah. That's the bar card. See, so we've got to polish both sides of that. That's the first thing you're gonna see. Mate, when you pint of beers on that, bro. I love that, don't you?
Stick a nice 10 mil bevel on that, on all the edges, all done by hand. And then that way, when you put that on, so because it's so delicate, same as quartz yeah. as well, and it's prone to chipping, yeah. if you don't put a nice big bevel on, that's what I say anyway with granite, yeah. if you dink it with a glass, Bang. it will chip your stone. Chip the stone. Whereas now, with that, it's a I'm lot more you. You got it solid there. for your impact. Yeah. Yeah. impact. yeah. So you know, when you're unloading dishwashers and stuff, if you yeah. only have a little tiny bevel on it, you lift your glass out, you chip the edge. Yeah, I like that. I like that meaty bevel there. He's thinking, <laughs> yeah, it's not finished yet. Anyway. <laughs> Just add that in there. Yeah, it's definitely not finished. So if you actually look down that, right? So you see this bit see of stone little, here? Little ripply. So that's harder. So that's what he's got to get out now. Yeah, get the ripples. ripply look. So when you look down, it's like glass. So then it gets. The problem is, is with it is the fact that that's a, you get your bits in here. I was going to say different material. And then you've got to be careful. You don't over polish that side of it because you're trying to polish that bit out. So the key is rather than like that in circles, which that's how I polish quartz, is I go up and down in circle motion like that. Yeah. With this, you've got to go. Okay, you're blending you it all the time. If you do that, you're going to create them mark. I'm with you. That's how you get your Indentations and your ripples. Yeah. Now you've got to keep going right through it. Hey, right. look at that. You proper get, get down and get, get with it. Sort of. See where that ain't, had, that's this edge here ain't been polished at all yet. Look, you see where it's still square? Yeah. So look, you can see that 10 mil bevel that he was just talking about, that's your bevel. And he's, he's creating that bevel out of this square piece of granite. Ah. So he's taking that edge off. So when he takes that edge off, he keeps that, and it's all by hand that is, all the way through, and then polishing the front edge of it as well. This is for Ree's, um, uh, is that for the sink? You know the uh, ice, ice sink? Bucket ice bucket sink. Yeah. Undermount sink cut out. This is, this is the small sink which is going to put our bottles of uh, Prosecco on. Yeah. Look, you can go out and you can, Companies that have CNCs and stuff, it's a lot easier, yeah, but it takes the personal side away. For me, it does anyway. CT1. You find it anywhere you go. Look, up, you've got loads of the CT. He knows his stuff. Sorry to break up an important part and something very uh, technical, but I've just found out that Toby got shagged in the ear by his dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Tell the story, bro! But <laughs> <did> as well. <laughs> so they'd gone on holiday and uh, just sat on the sofa chilling. The next thing, he did we need to meet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little <laughs> sausage dog! <laughs> they weren't small, did they? <laughs> <laughs> what a conversation! The dog shagged me in the ear. Oh yeah, it's on all the on the uh, dog shagged me in the ear. Shagged me in the ear. <laughs> I'm gonna press the buttons. Line it up, press the buttons, have a little slice, I wanna have a little polish in today, I wanna have a go, yeah. I've been part of it then, haven't I? Been part of the process. It's alright having someone in, paying the money, having it done and enjoying it. But there's another thing in actually getting hands dirty and doing it. That's why we're both doing our houses and we're getting hands dirty on it. Because then you can say, look, we've done this ourselves. We've been part of the whole process from start to finish. Keep an eye on the water, make sure there's loads of water coming through it. Because again, if there's no water, it won't cut. It will How long one of them blades the blade. last? The, not the very the not, money, they are they? money. Not very long. I've they had that one money. for probably about a month and a half now, but I've cut some jobs on it. And what sort of money is a blade like that? About 450, yeah. 500. So you think all this is taken into consideration when they come out and they quote you for a job, just that blade alone, yeah. four or five hundred quid? Yeah, it's like the pads we use, the three-step the three pads, because we use it in three-step instead of seven pads. Yeah. We don't buy the cheap, They're more money. crappy ones. We spend like 50, 60 quid on a set of pads. 
which will last you Maybe last us a week at yeah. most. We need to cut the front edge. Yeah. So what we're going to do so is... Get we, yourself a square edge. We cut the front edge and then we can operate it to go back then. All right, we wind it to make it send the blade back. Gotcha. So I'll show you yeah. over here yeah. what you've got to do. It's very simple. Moves it back and forward. Yeah. Right. Locks, Locks it in place. In. Yeah. Forward, uh, backwards. Stop. Forwards. That's your stop. Okay. This is your speed. This is the most important thing. Start slow. Start it on zero, yeah. less than zero. Yeah. Right, we start dead slow. What I do and what I get into a habit with is whenever I move my blade, so I want to send my blade back so I turn it up a bit faster. To make it move, yeah? But what I do is every time I stop that blade, so turn I press that button, zero. turn it back to zero. Make a mistake. You press your blade forward without turning that back to zero and you're in the stone, Bang. the whole, whole thing, the whole, whole thing, thing will go. Stone will shatter the whole lot. Down, that, and then we're gonna lift the blade up That's before we right. send it back. Yeah. Should we lift it up first? Yeah. So 12 turns, full turns, should be a bullet above the stone. I don't even know what I've done. I lost count. Release your wheel. Yeah. Yeah. And then send it up. Yeah. 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 That's it, so that's minus now, so you want to go that way. That way. 724, okay. Seven. Yeah, so we go 720 with the stone, 4 mil for the blade. Oh, we might need that 4 mil, but we will check it on the tape. And then what we do, that's the width for the worktop. 720 is the worktop, 4 mil is the fitness of the blade. 724 mil. That's what I'm trying to comprehend in my head then what we was doing. Now you're going to check that end as well to make sure we're square. Bang on. You want to get it on now so you can see how good we are. <laughs> get that on, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a little bit more. Oh, good. Nice. That has got to be the sexiest bit of granite I've seen. That's a naughty bit of granite colour. That's the best bit I've ever seen, mate. The colours are wicked. I can't put that in the garden room with the blue sky and the green trees and shit, mate. We've hit a really hard bit uh, when it comes from the map. It comes from the mountain. Uh, it was on steroids. Ah. Oh. So it was rock hard. Rock hard. Rock hard. Oh. Rock hard. Oh. Too short for this game, innit? I need a hop up, mate. Oh, should we get a shot here? No, Come on. Salt, Come on. Right up next to the left. When you did that video. Granite Bay.
So it's about how you lift it. Yeah. So if that piece went like that, if we had that flat, we would just crack in the middle. Right. Straight away. So as soon as you come up there, what you have to do, in theory with this, come up, keep it on until you're there. Because if you lifted it off like that, it's going right. to crack. So you need to keep support on it while we can. Weight distribution. Yeah. And it's hard, mate. It takes people, it took me and Toby a good month to lift together. He'll do my back and then you've got to be on the right side of the stone. And yeah. If he's on that side and I'm on this side, you're like, you're twisted and you've done my back in many a times, yeah, just lifting it wrong. But you quickly learn because it's, yeah, it's a bit painful. <laughs> Otherwise, you're back with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a granite man. Just call me Granite Bay, bro. Right, I'll get my. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's what you get in all the modern flats and that, though, isn't it? We're going to block a. Seven flats in this. Yeah, it's got a sorry, white mirror that it's, was. It's got, yeah, it's got that sort of look to it. You see the modern flats. Because what you do with that in them flats, they're going to ask you an extra 20 grand because it's got natural stone work top plates that it has, rather than laminate. And it ain't much, it ain't loads more, is it? Nope. My mate brought a new house on an estate in in, uh, in Droitwich, a new build, had it all designed and built. And it's nine grand or something extra to have uh, quartz worktops in, but they wouldn't. So he asked if they could just fit the base units, and he was going to use me for the quartz, and they wouldn't let him. You have to, they, nah, they have to finish it. They have to finish it all. Hey, what? How privileged is this kid to be able to do everything? I'll be selling that as well, on the side, on the weekends only. What, uh, forklift? Yeah, I'll be selling them. You'll be a forklift dealer? Yeah. He's had a go at so much stuff, isn't he? Then I'll go buy Jordan off Michael Jordan. Bless him, he can choose whatever he wants to do. Mm hmm. And a barber. And a barber. Yeah. Then nice. I'll, then I'll be selling them. Um, what? <laughs> selling what? Yeah. What? No, you can't tell that. Why not? <laughs> Isn't it? Now he's having a little taste of cut, cutting natural stone. In the holidays, he's going to do barbering for it. Well, he learns a bit of barbering and everything. Yeah, medication. In California. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll go to California. He can never ever say to me when he gets older, Dad, you never give me a good chance in life. Fly nice. out there, sell it, come back. Yeah, yeah. Make about 12 grand. Oh, I love that I'll bring us. First class private jet. Fair. 300. 300, yeah. yeah. 300. Then I'll sell gas bottles. Oh yeah? I'll buy them for 10 pounds, sell them for 100. Nice. No. can do anything, he's been exposed to everything. Then, you know what else I'm gonna do? What's that mean? Breed spiders. Breed spiders? Mm -hmm. Is that, <laughs> they are some mad spider webs. Yeah, then I'm gonna get like the best spiders in the world, yeah? Yeah. Put some humans with it, turn into Spider-Man, sell him. Oi. I'll sell the Spider-Man. Yeah. Mate, he's, you know he's gonna be an absolute tycoon. What was he gonna do? Got everything. How is he? I'm gonna stick a bevel on it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do this dry because it's granite. Quartz, you have to wear a mask because it's yeah. got silk in. Yeah, yeah. Right? Granite, you don't have to, it's natural stone. Okay. You do, I'm gonna wear a mask anyway because I'm gonna do it dry. Okay. Reason I do it dry when I put my bevel on is because yeah. I can see it. Uh -huh. So obviously, you literally wet that, and it goes the same color as the top. So if I do it wet, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going. That's the only reason. So if you want a mask, there is some in there. So that's the line, that's, you, you doing, give us a nice 10 mil or so bevel. I'm gonna put a nice big bevel on it and then you can polish the edge. All that by hand? All that by hand, yeah. There you go, I'll leave you to catch that, that's an art. Oh, Jim. 
Leave it. Go on, son. So that's probably it now with that. And, and then, then we, we go polish that. Polish that. Go over it with a pad. So then when we're using the pads now, because I'd explain, because you're obviously going to have a go at polishing. I'll show you my technique. Yeah. And then that's the one showing it. Yeah. You, I'll show you that. From that give it, that. A, give that a go. You can adjust yourself yeah. however you're comfortable. So then you've got a one pad, which is obviously, as you can see, it's a bit more coarser than these ones. Yeah. That's your one pad. So essentially, what that's doing is taking any roughness out of it, so you yeah. can feel the roughness on that. Yeah. That'll take that out and get it going. Your two pad. Yeah. There's a lot less diamonds in it, so that starts polishing then. Okay. It'll go a darker colour each time you go through it. Your three pad yep. is your gloss one, so okay. that gives you your finish. So what I'll do is I'm going to do a little bit of that end. Yep. One, two, and three. Only that, one, two, three. I'll do it all dry, yep. okay, so you can see the one, two, three stage. Oh, okay. yeah, all right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just of these three. Bear in mind when we do it wet, it cools the pads, it polishes better, that's why we do it wet. You don't have to polish granite wet. The only reason I do is because we're in such a small space in the dust. It's the only dust. reason. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, we just get it everywhere. So what I do, right, and it helps because I've got a bit of a belly. Rest it on is there. I kind of... See, and you get behind it so your shoulder's pushing on it. Once you're doing a full, a full length like that, so I'll sit like that yeah. and put all my weight in. Yeah. And you just go up like that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But then you do, because it's granite. Because that'll run your elbow and shoulder off a while. Yeah. So like what that. you're doing is these, these bits here, yeah. taking them out. Yeah, okay. That's what you're trying to do. So you don't yeah, have any yeah, white yeah. in there, you little yeah, white yeah. bits. So now this bit, people think is very easy. No, it's the old bit, it's you the hard bit. Top bit there. So if we f this, then the whole thing yeah. is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you to watch, watch me go over it with this one. Yeah. At the angle that I hold it. Yeah. This is the hardest Yeah, because if it goes on there, you're gonna damage so it. You want it 45. So literally, you want it like that. Yeah. But when you're over the top of it, it feels off. Yeah. It feels like you should be like that. Should be like that. You shouldn't. You should be keeping yeah, it down. Yeah, keep it on that bevel. Because it's quite a big bevel, you can feel my bevel on it. I'm with you. If that makes sense. Yep. So, you don't want to sit anywhere too far, uh, too much on one place, if that makes sense. Yeah, keep so it moving. Go keep it moving. Across with it, yeah? That's when you're going to lose the yeah, you're Otherwise, gonna you're going to start dipping it in one area. the shape of it, yeah. You're a bit wet, bro. Me? Yeah. A little bit wet, mate. But when you're enjoying yourself, it doesn't matter, does it? No. So put your arm in there. And sit over your head. And then this one here, over that side. Over that side. There you go. Crosses over your back into that cliff. And that covers my leg then. Why don't you tell me that? You watch me do it. You watch me do it. It's just funny, isn't it? <laughs> It is. Fun. Just, it funny, yeah? Just fun, isn't it? Hey, look, now I've got to start, I've got to around draw my leg. <laughs> Get the camera straight in that mushy's face. Who is he? That's James's mate, Grant. GVZ Landscape. Big fan of. Who is he? GVZ Landscape. GVZ Landscape. He's supposed to be very good at what he yeah, does. Look, 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 and he's got the food for you. Oh, oh that's lunch. Just go and shove the camera in the face. So. Who are you? What's your name? Take me out. Here we go. Do it now, do it now. Here he is, the main man. There we go, come berry chips, boys. There we go. Ready what you got? Eh? What you got? Got some chips, I've got some sausages, chips. fish and chips, I've got a first well, a few it. trays in a bag that's about to rip, so I better put it down. And what's your name? Uh, Grant. I'm Grant. And where are you, where are you from? So me, I'm from Droitwich, uh with James's best friend, and uh, yeah, I'm a ground worker, unfortunately, landscaper. So yeah, contractor as well. Now give us your best chat line. I know you're married, I know you are married you best chat of line, what we got here, what we got here. Come on, Grant. Do you want a drink? Yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got, because I've got some beers in the van as well. So yeah, could work out two ways here, lads. Could work out two ways. This guy here, right? Yep. Best bream fisherman. 
in Worcestershire. <laughs> Best bream fisherman in Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be listening to him, at least I caught some. I caught oh, something. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but bream. Oh, yeah. bream. <laughs> He's a carp fisherman catching bream. <laughs> Sorted, yeah, stay breathing. I need it. I say, do you want a drink, mate? <laughs> no, not the lick of the lips. <laughs> Cheers for lunch, mate. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate. He's like, he kept going, rubbing at it. I'm stood down there watching. He's like, I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, watch. Like that. <laughs> like a little light, a little hole in the roof somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's piercing down, mate. He's, he was, he was there. I was watching him for ages doing it. Like, he, he will click. He will click. And he, he didn't click. He didn't click at all. Like, was it not going when you was wiping it? No, it didn't move. Coming back. It didn't move. From, yeah, was it not going back. on to the top of your hand? Yeah. Did you no. not think every time you run your hand over it, it went and then it come back? <laughs> you don't think that? <laughs> Hey, Dad, you're gonna get a music video. Big money, huh? Gonna get a music video. Music video? Yeah, I'm doing one with my life. Well, shit, this music video. No cameras, please, no paps. No paps. No paps. Alright. Private convoy. Oh, Private your convoy. Hat is ruined. I'm just giving him an absolute earful. Because yesterday, Oh, what Send him to a job. What did I see? I was on the trade fire app. He's got it on his phone. He's supposed to be at ha at home. I was doing radio. He was down the shops for an hour. But anyway, download the trade fire app because you can do your quote in, your invoice in, your estimates, and you can check on your workers. If you're if you if you're a plumber and you've got ten plumbers at work for you. They can then log in in the morning, see the jobs they've got to do today, see their schedule, go and do the job. You then see that they're at Doris's job and they're doing Doris's job. Once they've done that, they can tick it to say they're done. It is just an all round lifesaver. If you're a tradesperson and you're not on Tradeify, you need to be. Download it now. Use the code BALLBUILDERS. 50% Ball off. For how long? Three months. Three months. And you get a 14 day free, free trial. trial. Download Tradeify today. Today. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> disappointed. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> there we go. I met him one day, he was uh he rang in sick one day, didn't you toe? Remember that? <laughs> was he hanging? Rang in sick, he forgot I was his neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to him I said to him Yeah, I said to him when he started for us, I don't care what sort of state you're in. You turn up for work. Turn up for work. Right, turn up for work. If you're bad enough, I'll send you home. We're still out. Right, we'll get through it. A few months after it went by, and Liverpool was in the Champions League final or something. He's a Liverpool fan, so I, went and watched. I knew he was going out in the night. The next morning, half six. Mate, I'm really, really ill. <laughs> Sat there, I was like, I woke up, I was like, yeah, all right. I've got the flu. Text him, say, I'll meet you outside at half seven. Like, Mate, do you actually need me? I'm proper ill. But, uh, I walked out the front. I said his missus sat at the front, stood at the front doorstep. I was like, where is he? He's, like, He's upstairs. He went, wow. I was like, bang. Get out of fucking bed now, yeah. Tobe. I said, get in that fucking van and we're going to work. He's like, he come down and he's like, shoot me. Sorry, mate. He gets, he gets in the van and he goes, I'll never do that again. I, <laughs> I think he forgot for a brief second. Yeah, he went in next door to me. The fact that he went to the football the night before and actually said, oh, I'm going to go out and have a few beers tonight. Uh, told me that and then uh, I live next door to him. So I hear him, that was it. And that's how I knew he was out on the piss because I heard him at half 12 at night. Coming in. Fucking, the bins are at the top of the drive. So that's wheeling the bins down. <laughs> well. So I've opened the blinds that if to have a little look out there. See, see Toby stumbling around. <laughs> hey. The worst thing is though, it's an empty bin going down steps so everybody could hear us bringing the bins bump, down. Bump. At half 12 at night. Really, really ill. Yeah, right. What was that? Profiles. Is your ball nose profile? Yep. Comes across like that, and then when you hit, when that hits that, then that creates that roundness. It's all done by hand, and then that's your OG one. So that's the bottom. That's the stopper, and that's your machine. Top. That is. Top. Spin it, that's it. That's it. So that are eating, you start there, I guess, yeah? Yep. Work your way back, work your way back, work your way back, and then when that hits there, then that's got your OG profile on it. It's all done by hand. That's mad. That's an art. Getting that right, so in here, there's a half ball nose. Yeah, nice. 
that's yeah, that's just literally done with. So it's mad, but literally just kind of yeah. That's it, and then come across it the other way. And then come across, blend it all down. It's about being loose with your polisher. You know, people that so are just holding that. Like yeah. Be rigid with it, but people aren't. People are so stiff, and yeah. this is where they go wrong. And like, Technique, isn't it? it's yeah. like barbering. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you, exactly how you exactly hold that. Right like, when yeah. like when Ted does a bit of fading. What? No, the way he holds his grinder is the same as where you hold your clippers for black, for fading and that. Because it's the same as that, like, even when you, even on your edges and stuff, right? So when it might be a bit like. Obviously, this is a rough edge anyway, but if this is like there sticking out ever so slightly proud, literally just get that part of my grinder. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then it that way, and then, just, and then make it look like something together. It's all. It's, don't be afraid to do that, isn't it? It's about being light, and you barely touch it as well. You slow your speed right down, so it's barely moving, and yeah, just ever so slightly take it down. Have years of techers, that, isn't it? If you use the tech, you don't. What are you doing? 12 years? 12 years in total, yeah. He is nicking. I'm outing him because this episode won't be. His girlfriend's birthday is Saturday, Sam's. Yeah. He's only taking no, one of he? these for her present. <laughs> No, he's, he's not. He's taking a bit of going, for a going going No, you're not. Yeah, he's fine on camera because he goes out after her birthday. <laughs> 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 I'm going to put the legs on it. That's little, good. The little, little um, the little Should we get one for mum? Yeah. Should we get one for mum? So we made it. Take the one. Take the one. Take the one. Happy birthday. You want to give him a good clean, though? Cheers, David. Take him up and then... Let's give this a little wipe up. You haven't got like a whole slab I can take, have you? That green one would be nice. Look at that. I made this today, being at James's. Um, he had an off cut, so I've made it into a chopping board. Uh, it's Keely's birthday in a couple of days, so I've made her a chopping board. All polished up. I'm going to put some feet on it when I get home. Job done, mate. Well done, mate. That's lovely. You did you, get did that? you have any help? Or? No. Do you, know how, do you know how thoughtful that is of Sam as well? I know. Oh, it's so thoughtful. That's why I like him. And it's recycling. Yeah, mate. That's just an off cut I cut out early. You've done very well. Can I interrupt this slightly? Yeah, mate, look. I think, I think the out of this video is these two doing Take Me Out. Oh. Yes! Oh. This, this the out of, of today, yeah. not the video today. Oh. Look at it! Oh this is your idea! <laughs> <laughs> my name's Toby, I'm 22, 11th February 2001. I've lost my phone number, can I have yours? <laughs> Work for Rock Art Granite. Check him out. How about do it again seamlessly? What? We don't really need your Get data. Do it again. <laughs> He's like a gay porn shoe. My name's Toby, I work for Rock Art Granite, 11th February 2001, I'm 22 years old. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Why are you giving your full yeah. date of birth? <laughs> Why are you giving your full date of birth? You said give date of birth. No, you <laughs> <name. laughs> oh, Don't get your national insurance number and all, bro. <laughs> My name's Toby, 22 years old. Work for Rock Art Granite. I've lost my phone number. Can I have yours? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 what up, boy? I literally left for half an hour. He turned around and he, and turned around and and he said, out. He goes, all for the bit of this. I'll take my shirt off and do it in my waders. <laughs> he said, I'm like, fair enough, bro. It's good, it's, it's good for the business stuff. Oh, they're a great bunch of lads there. I will have them. How did he chat you up? Did he get him chat up line? I said, hey stranger, and you went, yeah, we shouldn't be, with a wink yeah. face. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There go it. Get that man on camera. <laughs> Ooh, look at the wall, look at the wall. Hey ladies, I'm James, I'm 32, I work for Rock Art Granite, and you're so far and you've made me forget my pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? His missus is there, and she's like, <gasps> Hello, mate. He never gave me that attention. <laughs> I feel dumb how about it? Hello, ladies. My name's James. Do you know how I did it so good? Because I was looking at her the whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs>
<laughs> Why well, is it ladies plural? <laughs> oh yeah, lady. Hello, lady. <laughs> I've got a speech problem. That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. <laughs> oh dear. We'll see you next week. Looking forward to it. Cheers. See you next week. Thank God. See you later on. See you later, boys. Bye. See you later. Good luck with you too. Bye. Ethan, I'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> see you later, I'm staying up here. See you next Thursday, Ethan. See you, mate. I've got a headache. Sorry, boys. <laughs> I'm off. Yeah, I'm going fishing. <laughs> Before we start moving anything, yeah. whoever's helping me lift or whatever, yeah. we'll have like a 10 minute chat of just yeah, yeah. how we're lifting. Yeah, yeah. Just so we don't screw ourselves. Of course. Like yeah. I'll take the small bits. Sam? Have the chat. <laughs> Coy, is that the time? The what a nightmare. Hey, you're up, you're up, mum. You want dinner now? No problem, mate. <laughs> Literally like a baby. Don't bang its head. Don't twist it. Don't shake it. Don't drop it. Essentially, it's going to be very. It is very, very weak. The ones with the cutouts in. I will put strengthener on the front just so we can carry it around so we don't twist. We go around corners. If there's something there lift it higher than it so again we don't try and twist it slightest movement you go that way i go that way it's gonna crack. it will crack straight down the middle and it'll be in half no pressure oh. it's nice and easy i actually yeah. dislike you it. it's scary bro yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i used to like today. i like yeah. i liked him I spin the band round the good luck, sir. cool they don't call me what's that you got yeah. strength Tattooed on your bicep. Strength comes from within. The first ever tattoo I got. Within the bicep. The biggest regret of my life. Is it? So you've seen us now in this episode. By now you should have saw us template. Yeah. You've seen us travel up the Jimmy's place to start the fabrication process of the stone. Since we've left, he's carried on fabricating whilst fitting us in with lots of and lots and lots and lots of other work. And now you're at this point where we're going to install stone into the outdoor kitchen. So you've seen a oh, full circle of it being made. Yeah, I'm so, not being made, and the fact No You're gonna have to lift that. I actually cannot physically lift that. No. <laughs> Try that. Is it? I can't lift it. One, two, three. Oh, I'll drop it down, Joe. John, take it back down, man. Take it back down, man. Two, One, two, three. three. Move that table out. Well, Brad, yeah. Oh, just about. I felt like I pulled a bollock or something. I actually couldn't get it off the ground. That's heavy. What are you using, Sam? CT1. Suki on EastEnders. Yeah. What are we on this one now? She is the Asian lady that runs the no, shop. You like an Asian girl, don't you? Uh, any really, to be honest. It's <laughs> whether they like Nicky. <laughs> Wearing a vest bed. Nah. 
J to the A to the C to the K, that's you. Jackie boy. <laughs> Are you wedging it in your, with your belly? That's not what I do. Well done, bro. Good shout. Well, my abs, I should say. It justifies having a belly well, then relaxed. as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, my well, relaxed abs. <laughs> oh. Hidden now. They're very relaxed. There's some under there. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be, right? Everyone's got abs. It's just how high, how well you hide them. Yeah. yeah. I hide mine pretty well. So do I. We're, I'm really good at hiding mine, so. Looks like a good product. CT. CT1, construction technology number one. Uh, I'm gonna check it now. Got an O for the OB. Got the OB. OB. In it, drop the H. OB. OB long. No, I need the H in it. Why do you need the H in OB? OB Do you say HOB or OB? Do you say HOBNOBS or OBNOBS? OBNOBS. OB. Chuck's the OBNOBS. OBNOBS. In it. To be honest, I'm going to put a, a complaint in. Yep. I'm going to ask for a full refund. I think it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> What's Good, that voice? I don't know. Like you're practicing, isn't it? Practicing doing voiceovers and stuff like that. Oh, darling, it's absolutely amazing. Come down with me, sort of stuff, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, sure. So here we are. It's sunny West Sussex currently with the Bull Builders and Sammy over there. He's going to have a fantastic night at the bar. Is that what you're going to speak like now, yeah. you posh? Oh, now, darling, now I've got a bar outside. Oh, my God. Very good, isn't it? Lovely. Nuts. Never seen it. Don't want to see it in anyone else's house, please. No. And it'd be nice never to see that. I reckon there's only about three, four houses in the country that's got that. In the world? In the world, right? In the world, mate. In the world. Yeah, maybe they, yeah. they shut it down. Maybe not even that, then. You say not even that. Two, like two, three, innit? Yeah, apparently there was nine slabs. So the surprise told me they had nine slabs of stone and the quarry got shut. So we've had two, three next week. We've had three of them. And they've still got all so of them. One or two jobs. Oh, have they? Yeah, yeah. So there'd be one or two jobs. I'm the first company in the country or to fit this stuff. Well, to fabricate oh, this stuff. Don't fuck that. And he doesn't recommend it because it's paying me off. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say there'll be no other customers with this, thing, that's why. Right. <laughs> he, no one else will touch it. Brittle, and that's why they shut it down. So they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't dig for any more, could they? I reckon so. Mate. I think it's that's the be, reason. Surely, I am you can feel it through it. You can feel hairline fractures through it, and you can feel it. And I think that's what it was. I reckon they broke more than what they got out. That's what I reckon. And then I reckon. I bet you're fine that there's probably a percentage because you're digging it from 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 mountains, right? So when they pull it out, it'll be a percentage ratio. If they if they lose thirty percent, it's fine. If they lose sixty percent of what they're digging, do you know what? It's a non-starter because they know what's going to happen down the fabrication route. And all the time you're moving it, all the time you're making it weaker and weaker, isn't it? You're yeah. playing, and that's what it is, isn't it? First question I asked the supplier when I went to see him, and I showed you sent him that video of this. I turned around to him and I said, because I know what it's like, I was like what's this stone like to fabricate? No. And he turned around and he said, I have no idea, because we haven't sold a single slab yet. Took a chance on it. So, so now you can go back and give me feedback <laughs> and say, listen, make sure you tell any, any fabricator that is a pain in the backside, and we don't recommend it. It looks great when it's in, but Jesus. Yeah, it took some work to get where it is. That's that does look nice. Look that bit there. You look at that and you actually think that that's a crack, but it's not. I see that. It's just a vein. It's, it's a vein. That one's a vein, isn't it? There, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a fracture. Yeah. There's a crack there. All part of having natural. It's no different when you look at your wife and she ain't got makeup on. Ah, it's natural, isn't it? You're going to get a few lines here and there. A few little cracks. It's just a thing of beauty. It's just a thing of beauty. You've got to love them beautiful cracks. The and more, then veins. The more, the more you look at it, the better it gets. The better right? it gets. Or the more sympathetic you come to the situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel next Friday, it'll be a better day to end this. Okay. So this is sort of a partial ending. Okay. It's like, this is like a see you later, not a goodbye. We'll see you in eight days. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you in eight days. Right, we'll see you in eight days and all. Very good. Nice new blade. Yes. We've got a new one on for the uh, to cut these down. It's a nice colour. It is, isn't it? Struggle then. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on camera. <laughs> We've got a couple more little bits to do with my mate Jimmy, James. That is really brittle some of that stuff, isn't it? Mm. Little cracks here, isn't it? Um, but usually I've got to go over to Sound Place because you have got to take delivery of Sound's appliances for his kitchen. Nice. Been working. They actually done a little bit today. They look absolutely fine, Ted. They've actually They're done a little bit today. <laughs> yeah. So now you go over there and lift up the appliances. We've got a couple of bits to do, a little bit of mastic to do. He's doing that little seal in there. And I've also got my fireplace going in, which we'll show you later on. Different oh, episode, the same part of this. Look, my wardrobe look good. Look, wardrobe looks sick, innit? Wardrobe looks sick. Wardrobe looks sick. Take your shoes off, bruv. Huh? Been out in the mud. I oh, know, I have to take my shoes off. Yeah, sister. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the process of the kitchen worktop being installed. From warehouse. Manufacturer, oh, templated, template, workshop. made, and fitted. It's nice knowing that you've actually finished some of these bits as well, isn't it? It's nice. So we now cut got, some of it. Yeah, we mm -hmm. cut some of it, we finished it, we edged it. So now we're waiting for the gas man to come in, gas all this up, and then we can start cooking. Kaboom. That'll be a different episode. Baked potato. Baked potato. See you later, alligator. <laughs>